Hi, I'm Jody the Biker Babe, and this is the Vogue.net. Now it's time to sit back and relax while I show you how to use this site. It's so easy and loaded with so many features that I thought I'd take a few moments to show you the very best way to take advantage of it. So let's get started. While this site was originally going to be geared toward riders of Victory Motorcycles, after listening to members of our community, we've expanded it to encompass topics of interest for riders of all brands of bikes. So no matter what you ride, you're welcomed here. The first time you go to the VOG, you'll see our home page. If you haven't already set up a personal account, all you do is click the link in the upper left hand corner of the home page. If you already have an account, just click login and enter your username and password. If you don't have an account, click sign up and follow the instructions. Don't worry, we'll never ask you for any personal information. And since this is a free website, we will never ask for your credit card information. We only collect this information to get you started in signing up your personal page. You can also go to your account from anywhere in the site by simply pressing the My Account link. Today, I'm going to walk you through all the basics and tell you everything you need to know to get started in setting up and maintaining your Vogue account. The My Account area contains your personal picture. This image is commonly known as an avatar. To keep things simple, I'll refer to it as your profile image. Your profile image will display whenever you make a post or a comment. While you don't have to have a profile image, we highly recommend it as it helps others know they are communicating with you. Otherwise, the space will be blank. How boring! At the bottom of this page, you'll see your account information and your activity. So that's the My Home tab. Now let's click the My Public Page tab. On this page, others can see information about you, such as signature, the videos you've posted, your writing details, the about me information you entered when you registered, your hobbies and interests, the photos you've uploaded, and your recent visitors. Here's a tip. Since the signature will appear at the bottom of every forum post you make, as well as on your profile page, you can make your signature a motto or a favorite quote. However, I suggest you use the signature to type something in like this. I write a victory vision. Or, if you own more than one bike, you can just type in, I ride a Victory Vision and a Harley Fat Boy. This way, when using the forums, others will know at a glance what you ride. When you're logged into your account, you'll see other tabs across the top of the page. Let me take a moment and walk you through them. This is the gallery, and this is where you go to manage the photos you've uploaded for everyone to see. You can use the gallery not only to view your images, but you can delete them as well. A good rule of thumb is to remember that if you want to add images or photos to other areas of the site, the easiest way to do this is by simply uploading them to the gallery first. Then they're there when you need them. The guest book is a tab where you can view the comments others have left for you. When someone leaves you a comment, you'll see both the comment and their profile image. The Friends tab is where you go to view all of your friends that you've made online. Now let's take a look at the Favorites tab. This is where you see a listing of your favorite people and videos. And the last tab in this area takes you to the Videos area. This is where you see the videos you've uploaded as well as the ability to remove them. Remember, to add a video, you need to click on the white video link at the top of the page. Okay, now let's go back and click the My Account tab at the top of the page, and I'll show you more things you can do with your profile. You'll notice that when you click the My Account tab, the tabs will change to give you more controls and options. There are 10 tabs on this page, and they change depending on what area you're in. While you're learning your way around, remember this simple trick. At any time, just click the My Account link to go back to view these 10 tabs. I've already shown you the public page settings, now let's take a look at the other tabs. Let's click the Settings tab. 
This is very cool, as in this area, you can customize your entire Vogue online experience. On the settings page, you can change your account information, such as your password and your email address. Remember, others will not be able to see your email address, so don't worry about getting spammed. The Profile Settings tab lets you update your personal information at any time. So if you get a new bike, this is where you can add it. What's very cool is that in the signature box, you can not only enter what you ride now, but you can customize it to include all the bikes you currently have or have had in the past. This area is also the place where you upload your profile image. Now let me show you something really cool. This is the Design My Profile link. By clicking it, you're directed to a page where you can customize your profile, the one that others will see when they click on your profile image, with different colors and images. It's a really cool feature, as it allows you to set up your page and show your personality. So that's the Settings tab. Now let's take a look at the Messages area. Although your messages will show up in the My Home page area, they will also show up here. In this section, you'll see the profile image of the person who sent you the message and the topic of the message. By clicking on the topic, you'll jump to the message where you can view the full message, reply directly to the sender, or delete it. Also remember, if you have a new message, you'll see a new inbox message indicator at the top left of every page. That link also takes you into the same messages area. <laughs> Are you getting information overload yet? Hey, the Vogue.net is a new concept for most of us, but don't worry. While it may be a bit intimidating at first glance, after you've used it a few times, it becomes very intuitive. Trust me. So that's the Messages area. Now let's move on to the Submit Items tab. This is where you can upload photos, create a poll, and upload videos. The best way to look at this tab is that it's a type of control panel to upload stuff for everyone to see. While the Submit Items is where you go to upload these things, the My Items tab is where you go to manage those same items. After clicking the My Items tab, you'll see a number of links. Here, by clicking the proper link, you can manage your pictures, polls, videos, and comments. You can also block users from contacting you. It's important that you don't place your personal information, such as your street or email address, or phone number on any public posts. If someone you don't know wants to communicate with you, they can send you a message through the Vogue's internal email system. This way, the Vogue keeps your information private. So, that's a look at the My Items tab. Now let's click on the Friends tab. It's easy to make friends on the Vogue.net. When you do, you can add them to your friends list and their profile image will appear on your friends page. By simply clicking a friend's profile image, you'll be instantly taken to their profile page where you can send a message, see their favorite videos, or read about their hobbies and interests. The next tab is for bulletins. From this page, you can not only read a bulletin announcing new events from your groups, but you can also send bulletins to other members of your various lists. Okay, I've saved the best tab for last, the Invite tab. Come on in and I'll show you how this works. If you like this site and want your friends to know about it, simply place their email addresses in the boxes and we'll send them a non-intrusive email letting them know that you would like them to join you here on the Vogue.net. Be sure to check out all our other how-to videos by going to Videos, Categories, and looking under the Using the Vogue section. Viewing these videos is the easiest way to learn how to use the Vogue.net to its fullest potential. If you have any questions, just go to the forum and click the Ask the Vogue link. Remember, if you're a member of a riding group, make sure to get your group leader to set up an account right here at the Vogue. After your group has an account, an entire new list of features that includes a private forum and a calendar will magically appear. For the Vogue.net, I'm Jody the Biker Babe. We'll see you on the road and online.